from Space Chennai. Ah, sure, sure. Thank you so much. I have already been warned for the timings. <laughs> I won't take much time of yours. Uh, first of all, uh, I've been since uh, watching all these things since morning. Uh, by the way, I'm Neeraj. Uh, I'm myself an astronomer and uh, uh, doing astronomy and space sciences uh, for a few years now. Uh, first, I would like to thank Aldrock India, no, uh, because I didn't uh, know that I'll get such good uh, uh, instances here that I never knew that uh, education can be uh, not just uh, only about teaching and you know, learning and experiential thing, but the panel here discussed so many things, it actually has opened a new frame in my mind. And uh, thank you, Gurdi, for that uh, and uh, calling me here. It's actually it's opened my eyes, and but I'll definitely inculcate those things in my programs also. Uh, now, before I begin with this presentation, I've made a small thing. Uh, what is the need of astronomy and space sciences uh, uh, in the school curriculum? Uh, few of uh, I've met some uh, of you here, and uh, I discussed few things, but. The first thing which I, when I came back here, someone asked that, uh, who wants to become a child, you know? Everyone wants to become a child. Everyone raised their hand, yes, I want to become a child again. Now, how I will say you this is, uh, when I came into this field of astronomy and space sciences, I was told that, you know, something which has died with time is curiosity. It has died, completely died. Uh, my uh, sir gave me an example. When he was giving presentation to a group of people, he gave me a paper, he put it in my pocket. And now he, he gave it to everyone else. Now he just told not to open the paper. Go and sit down in your seats and don't open the paper. He began with the presentation. Okay? And after a while, after 10 minutes of his presentation, he asked, how many of you thought, what is there inside that paper? Why did I fold and give it to you? It was nothing there, blank. Now imagine, I give the same thing to a child. He will not wait. He'll open it right away, or he'll, not, he'll hide it and open it. Something or the other, that is curiosity. That has died with time. Now, why I'm saying you this, we are trying to bridge that thing. Scientific temperament is required, no doubt. But that curious nature needs to be built up in every child that is learning in school or for that matter any place, no, even if he can't afford the school also, he must be learning at, at home. But that cannot be uh, killed. So astronomy and space sciences, uh, can you give me, is it possible to get a call on my question? I can move and speak. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so what I was saying was that when I started teaching myself as, uh, uh, as an astronomer, as an educator. See, I see here standing uh, in front of such huge dignitaries and you know, educationists. I feel uh, very small, I was just saying to mom also that time. Actually, I feel very small that you guys have such a long experience of 30 years and 40 years and 20 years in education. But I am trying to fill up that gap I am trying to come in your shoes and do my bit of it, okay? But what I have chosen is, I have chosen astronomy because over the time I have learned this and this has become my passion. I am good at it, so I can do that. So I personally practice my astronomy and whatever I know, I try to deliver it to people. But why is astronomy not in the school curriculum? Or why it is still afraid? Means not only in India, I'm not talking about the Indian education curriculum. Even in the developed countries, still date, 
there's not a single uh, school which says that we would run a proper astronomy and space sciences based education system right at the ground level right from the first standard itself it's not there there are thousand reasons for that see astronomy teaches us so many things so curiosity is one but it is very enthralling and it is very you know uh, oh i'm going to go and watch the stars and planets and moon oh i'll tell you one such experience of mine um i saw moon for the first time it glue my face glue up and i was like moon actually has craters in it then someone told me saturn has rings but you know all everyone we have books with saturns and rings i i obviously believed my uh, everyone who showed me the pictures but what if i want to see it then my trainer told me yes you can see it we have a telescope and today at night 3 o'clock saturn is going to rise i told okay fine if saturn is going to rise i am going to get up at 3 o'clock and see saturn so i went up big telescope in my hand to the third floor in the terrace in dark site in the jungle we had a small resort okay so went terrace and i picked up the telescope all by myself and i didn't know whether i'll see saturn or but i knew that saturn is going to rise to my surprise at 3:30 i was able to see saturn and saturn had rings my teachers my books didn't lie that day i believe the power of actually learning by doing you know i can believe everything obviously if you tell me to show me a black hole i cannot show you a black hole but whatever is possible in my hand i can definitely do that so the day i show you a crater you believe i it's actually has a crater right so that is what is astronomy all about you do it you see it and you learn it but we need to have it in the curriculum of the school education now astronomy has started way back you know it's a, it's something that was ancient times because people didn't have much to do that time if i talk about it right now if i go home i have my mobile phones i have my laptops i can do so many things but if i go back at my way back 5000 years back the only one job they did they had after going back is trust me lying down in the ground seeing up in the sky and enjoying how do you think this constellation stories came up you know how this looks like a lion how this thing looks like a Uh, uh, i don't know maybe a scorpio because that were the things that they saw around them today if i ask a small child to imagine a star pattern he will imagine what maybe he'll imagine a cell phone he'll imagine a shoe he'll imagine a garland is something that he sees around everyday life but that was there so that was how everything evolved astronomy and space sciences evolved but over time it became something that only a uh, no select group of people can do no you have to have a big degree for it you have to know uh, learn for it you need to uh, learn you have to become a space scientist for that no we do not need that if practice right at this age we can inculcate and that day the child would choose that yes if i am interested in astronomy and space science i can go up and become an astronomer let me tell you a fact i don't know the number but approximately 100 observatories are there around the world out of that 30% of the observatories do not have astronomers with them they are searching for astronomers to run their observatory why is that so because people don't know this they are not aware of it and it's such a it's not about money it's not about only science let me tell you the the uh monetary benefits of an astronomer is also very high so uh, in that perspective also it is also a lucrative career in that point of view so it's not at uh, uh, astronomy cannot be taken forward okay you just have a research or something but yes you can take it forward and do things see and it doesn't require very high fi equipment trust me sky is actually all you need that is all about astronomy and space science and you can do simple crafts work to learn astronomy and it is not at all expensive or something i'll not take much time but uh, <coughs> <coughs> we need to have see you know isro is doing a great job we all know that india is becoming a space power we all know that right day earlier in 2006 to 2012 if i remember correctly we had one launch every 2 years or 3 years sometime this year opslv has been launched this and that has happened but now if i see we have mangalyaan we have chandrayaan so india is doing their bit 
in expanding astronomy and space sciences. And right now, we need to take up, buckle up the shoes and take it so that we get the future leaders in this field. So that's what we are trying to do. What we have been doing this till from 2001 onwards, it's an 18 year long organization, Space India. And I am right now running the office of Space Chennai. We have four years in Chennai. And, but we have been doing the same curriculum. We're trying to uh, popularize astronomy and space sciences among the kids. No, we have amateur astronomers with us. No, people, class seven student, class eight student discovering uh, asteroids with us. Okay. No, we're doing NASA sponsored projects. We have CubeSat developers. We have many uh, astronomers with us which have grown to become world renowned astrophotographers right now. So it gives me privilege to announce that these are the future of what we look forward. So I'll give you a small glimpse of what exactly, I'll just tell you this. We found out the Indian Standard Time Meridian. We all know that, right? Uh, Allahabad, right? Allahabad is a time zone, 82.5 degrees. But we had a project when we found out the latitudes and longitudes of each conference points. Okay. So we found out that actually 82.5 is not in Allahabad. It was somewhere different. 100 kilometers away from it in Mirzapur. So what we did is, just give me a minute. Let's complete this slide. That's it. So we found out that actually it was not there. It was somewhere else. So we told it to uh, CBSC, NCRT books also to please get it corrected. That is somewhere else. Then we collect, uh, conducted the Venus transit of the last Venus transit of the century. I missed it because I practiced astronomy in June 2006. It happened. I started astronomy in uh, December 2012, the last of this century. Uh, so recently we have launched this, the uh, smallest uh, satellite, it was launched by a NASA vehicle, uh, weather balloon in the uh, United States. So these all programs Thank we you have, sir. you're going to, all the list is in uh, brochures being given to you. We have a stall up there, you can most welcome, I'll explain you how curriculum based programs we are doing in the school for your student, depending on your choices and your things. Okay, so we are most welcome to visit our stalls. Thank you so much, guys. It was Thank you very much, sir. I would like to call Mr. Nassar Ahmed, the CEO from Unity Public School.